it's too bad we don't have a forum for younger engineers. Um, if anything that they need to have for is information from the people in front of them. If you took a look at it, now you said that the, one of your tags on the, the project was that we're losing the ability to do the buildings that have already been done, something like that. I thought about that for a while, and I said, that's not really true. What we're losing is people are not going back and looking at those buildings. There's history on those buildings, a lot of history. For example, I have a couple of major projects down in New York City. What happened in the late 70s, I believe it was, New York City got in a lot of trouble and they had to stop everything, working on everything. And these three buildings were included. They were being done by the city. So they sat out in the weather for two years, <laughs> just the structures of them, partial structures of them. And then the dorm authority got into it and we finished all three buildings. And I always wondered, why we have such weird problems <laughs> with these three buildings? Well, there's a history to it. You know, same thing with SUNY's buildings. There was a major build-out in the early 70s, major, major build-out. There couldn't have been enough masons to do all that work. That couldn't have been. And I've got problem after problem after problem with masonry, with SUNY buildings. You know, so there's, how old are you? I'm 33. You're probably not old enough, but in the, in the late 70s, construction money was 20.5%, 22.5%, 24-percent a year. So all this stuff about, you know, are we going to do uh, save materials? Are we going to save manpower? Are we going to save this? It was all out the window. It was how fast can you build this building? It took you two years to build that building. It's going to cost you 50% more to build it. So all of that went right out the window. So that's where you see a lot of the buildings that you have problems with today were built during that time. They were trying all sorts of new things to happen, all sorts of different technologies to happen. Some good, some not so good, but that's what was going on. You got a whole new dynamic driving it. You had to get it done. You had to get it done now. And that's, that's actually where I came out of college, was in that environment. And that's when I worked down and around the corner here. We did... Uh, Panelized, light gauge metal framing. You couldn't put up a building faster. And that's that's how that whole industry just whoosh, took off. Well, on, we, we reset you with um, well, why uh, why did you even before your introductions? Why did you agree to to come here and sit in front of the camera? He asked me to. That's the answer. That's it. I don't know who's going to see it, but it's here. You know, take it, don't take it. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I just try and give you as best of my advice as I can.